Ja sam Irena Orlović. Vlasnica sam i urednica izdavačke kuće Harfa. Zapravo, ja sam vršila u izdavaštvu tako što sam na neki način imala svoje jedno osobno iskustvo. Kao mama djeteta s teškoćama u razvoju primijetila sam koliko mi roditelji imamo utjecaja na djecu i koliko je to važno zapravo ostvariti jedan dobar odnos i kontakt sa našom djecom. Hi, my name is Amy Cassandra Martinez with Hollywood First Look Features and today I'm chatting with the director of Harfa, Ella Miche. Hi, how are you doing Ella? Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Hi Amy, thank you so much. I know that Harfa is one of five documentaries. How did you get involved with the project in the first place? It is very much like women empowerment, especially now with Women's History Month. What better time to learn about women and celebrate them? So how did you get involved in the project in the first place? Excellent question. Uh, well, I was um, kind of hired by Square Zero Films, Thomas Morgan, who had seen my previous work a short film that I directed uh, that he had seen at the Cannes uh, Short Film Festival Corner. Um, and then, you know, told me about kind of this amazing gesture that MasterCard is putting together, uh, stories of five women around the world. And he has, uh, you know, he had asked me if I wanted to be the director of the Croatian one. It, you know, Croatia also being my homeland country and slowly started to unveil a wonderful story of a female empowerment story about a woman who started her uh, publishing uh, company business out of a very dark, sad place. And it's always wonderful to see uh, stories like that turn to something very positive. Thematically speaking, uh, so many things that you've touched on in this short amount of time, which I'm like, can we make this a full feature length documentary? Let's get in there. Let's do all that. Now you're talking about um, raising children with disabilities. You were talking about Croatian women and you were just talking about women kind of like delving into the publishing space when there's not too many people that have done the same. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about how you were able to navigate that while telling a really amazing story in a short amount of time? Yes. The, the final short is only about 10 minutes, but there's such a wider world that that we could still show. Um, I, you know, slowly, we just kind of discovered all the little nuances once we got to meet Irena and her family and, and what a struggle it actually had been. So putting aside all of the prep work and all the stuff, you know, that I did on my own, like a shot list and, and preparing the team. By the way, the team was wonderful. It was a half American, half Croatian team. Everybody worked, yeah, so hard. And, you know, even it was a slim team. So everybody just kind of crossed also departments and, and helped each other out just to create a very warm ground for Irena to share something very, um, you know, the most vulnerable, hardest thing I think for a mother is to have a child be well in any way. And this seems like such, is something that, you know, Croatia didn't really have books in the, in Croatian language, books that uh, talk about cognitive, cognitive uh, disabilities and things like that. So really, um, we just wanted to create a warm ground for her to be able to open up. And the more days kind of passed by, we shot over to, I believe it's like a two week period, which just became like a big family. And she really led us in her home and her family and watching that dynamic and uh, watching her daughter really be such a positive uh, young girl was such an inspiration to all of us. And, and it made, uh, the project even better. And what I love also is that you touch on the idea that it takes it takes the village. Um, and especially, like I said, around the time of Women's History Month, it's all about raising each other up. How do you think people can take that away from this short film? And also what we can do as women to help each other out? 
think what women should do to help each other out is listen to each other, you know, just kind of like you put five men in a room and, and by the end of it, they're having a good time. They're laughing, they're playing games, whatever it is. I think it's really now more than ever through power of film, through women empowering each other, uh, you know, MasterCard pushing this program out of creating a platform in a very creative way to display these women that come from very hard places, whether it's health or countries that don't really have the resources to achieve and do. I think um, it's a time for women to really get together, listen to each other, and know that we all um, feel the same, you know, regardless of our hair color, skin tone. Uh, I think we all suffer the same, and I think we can all be just as resilient the same together. And I've had that a lot in film with a lot of wonderful um, girlfriends, editors, I mean, that just help you uh, find and open up your own horizons to become a better creator, a better person. There's nothing better than girl power. <laughs> Heck yes, heck yes. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Harfa is now available on Shorts TV. My name is Amy Cassandra Martinez with Hollywood First Look Features, and I'll see you guys next time. I think I give a lot of the credit to who I am because of the journey that I took. So it's a very fulfilling journey. I love to be where I am. What doesn't allow me to quit is that the souls of my ancestors would be looking down at me like, girl, we built this up during the civil rights movement. Whoever is going to venture into a business, we better venture into a business that has a social impact at the same time.